you will get better results with your hypnosis clients because you're pre-framing them for what is gonna happen. Start your day the right way. We got a bit of Joe Dispenza on here. We've watched our virtual vision board. If you don't know what a virtual vision board is, click one of these sides of the card. That's what a virtual vision board is. It can help you really generate and attract more abundance in your life because ever since I started doing that, I came up with more creative ideas. I actually went to bed a bit later last night because I started writing another book. So stay tuned for that. That's coming out, not for a while. There's a, there's a big reason why it's not coming out for a while. I'm gonna go and hit the gym. Today's gonna be a great day. After watching my virtual vision board, after doing a lot more meditation, a lot deeper meditation, I actually had the opportunity with one new client and a potential for another. stagnant for a while so this stuff works it really does work sitting there watching these virtual vision boards attracting the abundance that I want in life sitting there meditating on the abundance that I desire in life and really drawing that energy to me this video that I'm watching right now about Joe Dispenza saying about how you collapse time and space and you start to attract your desires to you when you start to raise your vibration to that of abundance 365 days a year Leave familiar. Right, leave familiar, it's gonna feel uncomfortable leaving the familiar, but when you leave the familiar and step into a new familiar, you step or you step into a new place, you can make that new place familiar, just like learning a language. When I first learned Spanish, I couldn't understand or comprehend a single word. Now I can understand a fair bit. You can learn to speak a whole new language, whether that's positivity, wealth, health, happiness, joy. You can speak that new language by practicing the new language. Step into the unknown and eventually it can become the familiar. So we hit the gym, we're feeling good, we've meditated. And we got yoga in approximately 25 minutes. And I just made one of the nicest smoothies ever. I think it's strawberry mango banana, vanilla protein powder, bit of agave and some chia seeds. And damn, it tastes like strawberry ice cream, man. Mm. Mm. It's bueno. Still don't have Wi-Fi, unfortunately. Look at the state of this. When I get in a new place, it's gonna be way more clean, I reckon. Um, still don't have Wi-Fi, but sometimes it kind of works. Like, it just got me a notification, but I don't know. So we're getting through the workday. We've actually got Wi-Fi now, finally, so I'm actually able to work at home. But I just want to go get some juice, because I met, bought some grape juice the other day. It was the greatest, it was the greatest juice I ever bought in my life, so I need to go get some more by more still I don't know how to say shop. Let's hope the shop's open. Hola! That's my, um, what do you call them? Laundrette, she knows me first name. She dropped my pineapple shirt around my house the other day because I left it there. It's the store to get the... Um, this is how we possibly, possibly order a grape juice. I'm not sure if it's the right one. So this is what my day is currently looking like. Mind all the mess, really just mind it. It's, it's not great. The lighting's not great here either. Mind all the mess. We've, I've, I've got my mangoes, I had some mango, I had some grape juice. That's my gym bag. Yeah, there's just, there's just loads of stuff here. But right now what I'm working on currently is the, what would you call it, the ebook part of the course. So this is at the moment we're at 25 pages. This is gonna be sort of like a handout for everyone that takes part in the course so that all the most important things that you need down to techniques, down to stories, down to analogies, down to metaphors, are all in one place so that you can either print them off or you have an online copy where you can get them from. And I'm really enjoying doing this. For example, we've got one of my techniques, the past pain removal technique, which is about going back to your childhood and really removing pain that has happened in your past. Um, about having a good pre-talk, making sure that your pre-talk is perfecto, because if you pre-talk correctly and perfectly, you will get better results with your hypnosis clients because you're pre-framing them for what is gonna happen. And effectively, the hypnosis starts at the pre-talk. You're encouraging, you're guiding, you're telling them what's gonna happen and where they're gonna go on their journey. Currently, I listen to Spanish music because I'm learning Spanish as well. You're aprendiendo español, bebe. I love the Spanish language. I really, really love the Spanish language. It's such a cool language. It's such a sexy language. It is just such a good language. And if I'm being honest, it's actually helping me in two areas. One, talking to more women and talking to them in Spanish. So I'm facing two things at once, so it just saves, my, saves me time. Um, 
And yeah, it's, it's a great way for me personally to jump into new things. And if you've ever had an insecurity around talking to him, and I highly recommend going to another place and learning a different language because you don't have old limiting beliefs in that language, so you're not telling yourself that. That's the beauty of it. That's why I love it so much. And also you're not thinking about being nervous because you're thinking about the language you need to speak. So it's so much more fun, it's more enjoyable, and just do those little things to make your life a little bit easier. So do you want to know one of the most interesting things in regards to all of the studying that I've done when learning hypnosis, NLP, and all that kind of stuff? Creating this hypnosis course has actually been all from my own words back into my own course. So nothing is copyrighted, which I'm very grateful for. It's actually copyrighted off myself when I've put everything into my words. Um, obviously, a lot of the techniques in themselves are used techniques. Like people just use these techniques. They were techniques I didn't create all these techniques. I did create a couple of them. Um, they're my personal techniques. But when you look at it, it's actually really using what I've done in my studies to then teach other people. So it's really like the progression is coming along. And We're going from typing to editing. It's time to do some video editing. So today could have gone a bit better. I ended up after making some food, I started watching some YouTube. I didn't really get too much work done. So yeah, that just sometimes happens. I feel like sometimes you've got to be a bit leaning on yourself. That's a very bright light. I'm just using my phone like I can't be bothered to set up the camera. I really can't be bothered. I started editing a video. I started editing a Mexico vlog, sort of like all the fun things I suppose I've done here. Transferring the photo, the videos from my phone onto my computer, but to airdrop them because you have to go through iCloud, that's download them. It's a nightmare. Oh no, it's to be in. But I've managed to send a few over, so I'm still in the midst of doing that. But I think right now I'm just going to go stick an audio book in. Stick an audio book in. Stick my headphones on and go and listen to an audiobook in La Playa Big Pero, pero, porque La Playa is mi favorita.